Kia ora everyone again, welcome back. Uh, I've lost track of what day it is, but today I'm going to be making uh, my version of beef stroganoff. Uh, it's not really beef stroganoff because I'm not a fan of mushrooms. So it doesn't have any mushrooms in it. It has a lot of paprika in it. So probably it should really be called beef paprika if that's the thing. But um, it has uh, cream in it and it's nice and obviously creamy. And uh, you can serve it with uh, pasta, spirals, or something like that. Um, but I don't have any of those today, so I'm going to be serving it with mashed potatoes and some beans and peas. Um, I don't have any other fresh veggies right now, um, but you could potentially do it with broccoli or something like that as well. So, to start off with, I am going to chop my onions. I have two onions and I have three cloves of garlic. I'm going to chop those and uh, then I will show you what I do next. Okay, I've just cut up the onions. I don't normally cry, it's a bit weird that I'm feeling a bit teary. Uh, the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna brown off my meat. So uh, this is a shameless plug for um, Green Meadows beef. We get all of our uh, meat from there. I just do an online order probably about every four or five months, maybe every six months. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the supermarket, but it's Okay, so this is browned up um, nicely. I'm going to just take that out um, of there. I want to leave the oil and juices in there. Oh. And then, ouch. I'll turn it down actually. And then I'm going to chuck in the onion and the garlic. Uh, this is a cast iron uh, frying pan that I'm using. Um, ages ago, I read up on how good they are for you, much better for your health than the, the non-stick ones. I do use non-stick for things that would stick, but otherwise I use this one here, and it'll last a lifetime. Uh, my grandchildren should hopefully still be able to use this particular frying pan. Um, Hopefully, I'll get that sizzling. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tablespoon of paprika and a tablespoon of flour. Um, so once this is all kind of um, a bit more cooked, translucent, I'll come back and I'll show you the next part, save you watching onions cook. Okay, so I fried off my onions. Um, now I'm just going to chuck in a tablespoon of paprika. I should have done that another way. I should put the flour in first. And a tablespoon of flour. Um, and you really do not want this to burn, so you want to just give it a um, good stir. And I have turned the heat off because I'm talking at the same time and if I don't watch what's happening this will burn. So it kind of soaks up the juices a little bit and it looks just like dry paprika flour and onions. And I have here um, three cups of water and I'm going to chuck in a couple of oxo cubes into that to make some stock. Normally I use um, this kind of stock. But I have none left in beef, this is chicken and um, groceries are a bit hard to come by at the moment. So I'm going to chuck two oxo cubes into this water. And then I'm going to add that into here. Plus um, two tablespoons or two or three tablespoons of tomato. It's supposed to be tomato puree, okay, but I'm substituting for tomato sauce because I don't have any tomato puree. So I'll add that all in there um, and then I'll come back. Okay, so in case you were wondering, that was um, boiling hot water in here, um, otherwise that will not melt, and that's going to go in there. Turn that back on. Okay. I'm also going to add some mixed herbs, and I'm going to add the tomato sauce in a second, and I'm going to add this back in as well. Add the meat back in. 
make sure you put in all the juices, it's a yummy bit. And then once this has come to the boil, I will leave this simmering for, um, I don't know, probably half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, however long I really feel like. Um, it'll start to thicken up, we've got that flour in there, remember? And um, just keep an eye on it, because you don't want it to obviously stick to the bottom, but this will thicken up really, really nicely. And um, I'll show you what it looks like in about 15 minutes. Okay, so a couple little tips, you might already know these, but just in case you don't, I've just um, peeled and um, or scrubbed sorry, my spuds, and the smaller you cut them up, the quicker they cook, which is kind of obvious, but um, I've also boiled the jug, so hot water's gonna go in there, so they shouldn't take too long. Uh, this has been simmering for about 10 minutes now. Uh, I've been a bit creative to cover it because I can't find my lid, but that'll help, and it's just starting to thicken up. Uh, I'm also going to use this hot water to chuck into this pot for my veggies, and I'll make sure that I salt both of those things. So uh, Dinner's probably at 20 minutes away. Um, not far. This is probably all up takes about, I don't know, 40 minutes. Um, nice, quick. Okay, so this is the last bit of the um, prep for dinner. This has uh, been simmering away for uh, probably 30 minutes actually. I left it for a little bit longer. It's uh, nice and thickened. And um, I think I also put you wrong with the numbers in the recipe. This is another one, two, three recipe. So it's one tablespoon of paprika, two tablespoons of flour, and then three tablespoons of tomato sauce or tomato paste or whatever it is you got there. Um, last thing I need to do is I'm going to add some sour cream. Um, I normally use plain cream. I don't have any or enough of that today. So as you can tell, been a, um, a versatile, flexible cook. You've got to substitute all the time. So you could also use coconut cream if you wanted to. Go dairy free. I have turned the element off. I've turned the heat off. I don't want to add this and then boil it. I just want to add, so I'm going to do about half of this and I'm going to give it a good stir up um, and then I'm going to serve it up and you'll see the final product. Okay, so I'm dishing up. Um, this is what it looks like with the sour cream stirred in and uh, I've just got my potatoes out there. I actually made this trick uh, from my, the camp I went to as a kid, Teapot Valley. They used to always dish their potatoes up with one of these, an old school ice cream scoop quite um, useless for ice cream to be honest but works really nicely for a spud so I love doing that just for fun so uh, this is what it looks like if you wanted to add mushrooms then you could potentially do that at the beginning when you do the onion and the garlic but um, I like it just like that uh, and it tastes delicious I've already tried it I tried to make a little well here to put this over but um, failed a bit miserably but uh, there we go, and I'm going to add my beans and my peas.